Davy, are you ready? Are you guys ready? Are you ready for some awesomeness? That's kind of like, are you ready for some football? <laughs> well, I am here at the CE Line shows. I'm Callie Lewis. And I'm John P. It is day two, and this is uh, somebody you, I've been waiting to You've been to waiting to for, like, for like two days, two like two days. Aya Badir from Little Bits. Hi, Aya. Welcome. Hi, I'm not, where am I looking? Okay, just here. Look at us. Just Hi. talk to us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. I'm so glad you're here. You just got back from the keynote. Uh, what, what did you guys talk about up there? Um, the keynote was fun. The title was Making in New York. And I was basically talking about um, first really why people make. Uh, because it's not an obvious thing to want to be a maker. It's more difficult to make things than it is to make apps. And yeah. so really talking about how important things are, how our memories are tied to them, how universal uh, a product is when it, it is successful, and why it's inspiring. And then sort of went into uh, looking at some trends that are happening in the maker movement in New York. York particularly, some of the companies that are the most successful, some of the younger companies and entrepreneurs that are starting, uh, whether they're working in sort of a mission-driven space such as med medicine taking or quadcopters, or whether they're established 3D printing companies or 3D electronic kits companies and sort of everything in between. That's fantastic. She knows what she's talking about, she people. Does. <laughs> she's well, smarter she, than me. Here, you want to stay that. here and do this job because <laughs> the two of you would be more successful at this than me. <laughs> No, oh, hardly. Uh, so Aya, you actually you co-found or you founded, and you're the CEO of Little Bits, which you guys have seen me talk about a lot, uh, especially over the holiday season. I did a full-on review of the Little Bit system. I think you guys do an awesome job at getting young audiences, even adults like me, interested in excited excited about electronics. So, kind of explain what a Little Bits kit is for people who don't know. And what can you do with it? Sure, so Little Bits is a system of electronics uh, that snap together with magnets. And the idea is that each brick is a pre-assembled circuit and they have one function and they snap with magnets. Nice. So blue is power, green is output, pink is input, and you can basically, very simply, without programming, start to make your own circuits. So this is a battery, a power bit with a pressure sensor with a bar graph, but you could also put a buzzer and start awesome. to make something buzz. <laughs> so you don't need to be a programmer, you don't need to be an engineer, right. you can get started very easily. And the exciting thing is when you start to combine with other materials, you're able to really make your own toys and your own projects. So this is a toy that was made by a six-year-old, um, and uh, we call it Naughty Cat, and it basically has a pressure sensor in the tongue, and um, is this on? No. It has a pressure sensor in the tongue, it has LEDs in the eyes, and a DC motor in the tail. <laughs> nice. That is awesome. And so basically... So let's see the back. Oh, we don't have it open, okay. So you can see the little bits right here put together for, for the eyes and the uh, pressure sensor. And down here, you have the uh, power going on. That is awesome. So basically, we try to make it really, really easy for people and kids in particular to get started. Yeah. Uh, but also, we allow them to make things that are very elaborate. So for example, a couple of months ago, we designed the entire window installations uh, for the MoMA stores, mm. uh, both stores uptown and downtown, that were these very large sculptures that were robotic, that were made with nothing but little bits and some craft materials. That's fantastic. That's fantastic, yeah. So, how, how do people get them? Do they buy the pieces individually? Do they, they come in a kit? How does that work? Sure, so they come, this is our uh, most basic kit, it's called the starter kit. It has 10 bits, which most of them are out here now. It has 10 bits and an instruction sheet that gets you started. Uh, we also have this kit, which is the extended kit. And basically, this is a double-decker one that comes with 14 bits and also instructions and has things like a fan and a buzzer 
and a motor. So for example, now we're featuring a few projects on the website where you can make uh, summer fun uh, projects like uh, a fan, a hat with a fan so you can keep cool. Uh, or for example, a, a game that you can play outdoors and things like that. And so we're putting up projects on the website to get people excited about making their own things. So Sergio asked in the chat room, uh, how, how much is the cat? So just for a little bit of clarification, you're not buying the cat pre-done, you buy the kit and then you learn how to make projects. And maybe he meant maybe that, he meant how like, much for oh, the for kit the, to buy to, the kit maybe. that would let you build a cat. Maybe. Um, so I think this would be maybe around fifty dollars uh, of bits. Okay. But the nice thing is that they're completely reusable. So if you get bored with a cat, you take it apart, you make a dolphin, or you make a shoe, or you, you make anything else. And so and we have step by step instructions on the website of how to make it. We eventually are thinking of making kits where you can make a cat, but we want to sort of really um, complete all the building blocks first yeah. before we venture into that. One of the things I love about what you guys do, you mentioned the projects that you're featuring, is is inspiring not only by giving people the parts, but by having a community full of people who are suggesting ways to use the little bits and things that you can do. I So as a test... Do you guys have like a forum or something where people... Yeah. yeah, so they join up yeah. and they can just chat about they it. Can put, they can put... Basically, they upload their projects. We don't have a chat uh, uh, um, forum yet. There's a, sort of a little bit of... Uh, sensitivities around doing that for kids, so oh, that's yeah. something that we'll work on. Uh, but you can upload projects with step-by-step -step guides, you put up videos, uh, you can comment on them and yeah. things like that. And so there's sort of a lot of activity, there's hundreds of them already. And people put up videos of things they've made and it's really fun. Yeah, gotcha. kind of a recipe, almost like, exactly. you know, yeah, like yeah. a recipe site, yeah. that's what people are doing with cool, a little bit cool. site. Um, I, as a test, I put a 12-year-old in front of a little bit kit uh, over the holidays, and she made a, an ornament that oh, lit. Oh, nice! It was she made a heart ornament for the tree that lit up and uh, kind of did things on a motion sensor. Oh, that's how you yeah, should upload so it. Yeah. I should. I should. Yeah. I need to do that. I so, still haven't released that. So when I look at these parts, I. I I'm a real geek because I know everything about like gadgets and stuff, but I don't know how they go together. And I look at these things and I'm kind of intimidated. Like I, well, I, I stick these together. I don't know what that is, what that is, why I would so do So there are a couple of things. So there are, there are two rules. Rule number one is the magnets are always right. So you should always follow what the magnets tell you. If they're not snapping, it means it's the wrong way. Oh, can't go. And the second rule is you always need a blue and a green. That's and a buzzer, the, okay. And the pink is optional. The pink and the orange are optional in between. So where does... Um, Oops, sorry, here. <laughs> now that I want to demo it. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Oops. Oh, there we go. go. So basically all you need to know is that you always need a blue and a green and then you try different pinks and oranges to see what happens. It's and then really about experimentation. So part of it is exactly. getting over the fear of the yeah. parts. Oh my God, I don't know what they do. Well, will and I just get start, shocked by plugging yeah, this into just, this? And they also say um, they, ha they each have a name on them. So you can see this one says button, uh, this one says fan. Okay, gotcha. So if you're not feeling very adventurous, you can also read about them. Yeah. And you're feeling even less adventurous, there's instructions in the, in the kit. So where have you seen kids or teenagers or even adults take, you know, start with something like this, get over their hump? And, you know, is, is there a next step within the little bit system? So we, when we're starting to release more and more complex bits, and so these are some of the more advanced users, I would say. So we have, for example, a series of logic bits and or uh, not and so you're able to create decisions you're saying like if this sensor is pushed and uh, is uh, is activated and this button is pressed then do Don't this do so you're starting to create like complex behavior yeah. out of really simple pieces but we also are working on some of the more complex kits are coming out this um, this christmas this is a very special preview Yay! Um, i like special a, previews of a new product <laughs> of a new kit that we're releasing. This is going to be a kit uh, that's going to help you make music. Oh. Um, so basically, we have a microphone. Oh, look at that. We have a microphone and we have a speaker. Nice. And again, you can't put it the wrong way. Yeah. 
Hello, hello, hello. Awesome. Hello. Nice. Awesome. So you're able to. Hello. Thank you that for having That is awesome. Me. So you can put wires in between. You can embed it in the ears of the cat, so it can uh, in the in the mouth of the cat, so it can speak out. You can do different things. But also here's something even cooler with the speaker, which is if I put this. If I plug in a regular oh. audio cable into an iPhone, slide. Nice. You can hear that. Oops. <laughs> You're essentially playing the music. Yeah. That is cool. Very cool. It's a public and then, and then Exactly. And then if you want to dim it, because it's too loud. There you go. Very cool. Nice. So well, we're basically making these more complex bits and yeah, adding them. We yeah. add very periodically new bits, and each one works with every other bit in the system. Yeah. So you're building up a library that's very powerful. Yeah, that's awesome. So one more question: Public Latin wants to know if you can build a like a, an actual moving robot with these types of. Absolutely, of pieces, I don't have so. it here, but yeah. we have a few examples. Actually, we have many examples on the, on website, the website of people that have made cars, that have made yep. robots, that have made Ferris wheels, uh, that have made. Sh uh, we've made the sharks. That's oscillating. Lots of moving parts, yeah. Well, thank you so much, Aya, thank for, you. for joining us. And I know Callie would everybody. like to play with I these with you for the rest of the day. day. Here's one I haven't we, seen. Not now. We have to move <laughs> on. <laughs> Thanks, Aya. Hey, appreciate thank it you, very much. All right, you guys go check them out at littlebits.cc. Little bits. And, uh, you know, go check out my review of them as well. And I've talked a lot about them. Um, so I don't want her to leave. I know you don't.